A little while ago, on one of the programmes, I did a little Irish song, uh, which I learned as a boy, uh, a little thing called Mick McGilligan's Boat. I had so many letters asking to include another one before the end of the season that this is the last chance I've got, so I'll do one for you tonight. Now, I know what you're all thinking. Don't tell me he's going to do Paddy McGinty's Goat. <laughs> no, I'm not. Don't tell me he's going to do Delaney's Donkey. I'm not going to do that either. And I'm not going to do Rafferty's Motor Car. I'm going to do this one. <laughs> Oh, Rafferty's pig was a wonderful animal. Shh, quiet now, please. Built like a battleship, solid and stout. His ignorance would have disgraced any cannibal. Impotence written all over his snout. The night he got out, there was such a commotion. The women were screaming and men turning pale. Running and jumping, colliding and bumping. And everyone making a grab at his tail. Mickey Malone, the heavyweight champion, ran at the pig with a big rolling pin. Mr. De Blow caught Mrs. Monroe, lifted her bustle up under her chin. Shh, quiet. <laughs> Widow Malone fell through the shop window. In pickles and jam and red herring she lay. With eggs and tomatoes all over her garters. <laughs> Tonight that our Rafferty's pig ran away. Second verse. Then he ran in the courthouse, looked at the visitors, swallowed a Bible and danced a jig. Stop the case of the clerk of the court, or you must make the witnesses all kiss the pig. You'll have to think about that. <laughs> the pig looked at Riley, the principal witness, then ran in the courthouse next door to McCann's. He rolled in the butter, and he danced in the gutter, and that's how he kept slipping out of their hands. Big Mrs. Dial, she ran like an elephant, puffing and blowing with Mrs. Maguire. Fell to the ground, and I tell you, the sound was just like the burst of a pneumatic tire. <laughs> Flanagan got the pig in the corner, jumped on his back and ran into a dray. At twenty to seven, his home was in heaven. The night that old Rafferty's pig ran away, last, last verse. Then a terrible crowd led by Dennis Cassidy, Chased it with vengeance from Derry to Cork. And didn't they swear when the pig with audacity jumped on a tram and sat watching him walk? <laughs> he ran through the legs of old Councillor Duffy, a man of great standing and lofty ideas. And when they collided, old Duffy backslided, and down went the standing at 25 years. Burke's wooden leg was broken and shattered. He lay on his back shouting, Dr. Lamont. Barney O'Toole said, don't be a fool. It's a hammer and saw and a joiner you want. <laughs> then came the news that a pig had been captured. The town had a Thanksgiving supper that day. With cabbage and bacon unlawfully taken. The night that old Rafferty's pig ran away.